What is a leader in this new business era? Believe me, it's not what you think it is. In fact, there are a lot of qualities you want to take a look at closely to find out what is leadership and how does it work inside of your particular organization. Thanks for watching us here on Wild Biz TV. I'm Lynn Hinderocker, and I'm here with Leadership Resources in Lincoln, Nebraska. I got Boyd over with me and Dan Sedor, and we're talking about the qualities and attributes of leadership. Take a look at them, think about it for a second. Do they exist inside your organization? Boyd, what are, what are the top two or three leadership qualities, in your opinion, that you're looking for quickly when you're sizing up somebody's leadership potential? Well, the two for me, and they differ by everybody, but the two for me is I'm looking for passion. Okay. Do they have a passion for what they're doing and what they want to do? Okay. And the second thing I'm looking for is authenticity. Mm. Can, are they authentic with themselves? Are they authentic with other people? Hmm. Or do they differ when they're at home versus in the community or at work? Hmm. And if you're somebody different all the time, hmm. I have a hard time knowing if you're putting on a show or not. I see. Interesting. Dan Cedar over here, I think he's got some different things that he would emphasize as he's taking a look at uh, uh, sizing up uh, leadership potential. Why don't you give me a couple uh, qualities that you're going to try to hone in on? Yeah, what Boyd offered there, it's, there's this thing called accountability. Hmm. And uh, in these days, too many people skirt it. They let it go. They don't finish what they promise. And so accountability, which is really a level of taking self-responsibility to get things done, is a valuable insight for any leader, really any productive employee. And the piece I would add on top of that okay. is their ability to see the future and at least have a vision for the future. Boyd mentioned passion. And to me, passion comes from knowing that they have some place to go and some place they're heading. Mm. And that helps, the passion helps drive there because we can passionately go all kinds of wrong directions. It's going towards some great vision for the future. Sounds to me like Dan is saying that, you, that you're focusing on the emotion and he's saying that you kind of have to have a vision before you unleash the emotion or you can end up kind of darting around the entire Universe, shall Absolutely. we say. Absolutely. Yeah. You can be a little bit schizophrenic in your in your actions. Schizophrenic. I like yeah. that new word. <laughs> <laughs> what, what else? What other qualities are you looking for, let's say, secondarily uh, in a leader? Somebody says, I'm passionate, yeah. I'm honest, I'm transparent. Yeah. What else? Is that really enough to lead a company? Well, I think it really comes down to what are they doing in their role. Ah. You know, when you start aligning their skill sets and their talents with the, you know, their their leadership skill set. Yeah, I would think they'd have to have, have a certain to line skill set. what they're doing. If, if if I'm in a job and I'm leading people in a very high energy job, mm -hmm. I have to have one of my characteristics is I have to have a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. In the same sense, if I'm in an organization that is is much more sedentary in nature, mm -hmm. you can't be bouncing off the walls all the time. So you really have to align their characteristics with that. But I think the thing that you're going to, Lynn, is there there is there are just a enormous number of different characteristics we are very complex and how we all fit that puzzle together is the key in how we look to improve those different characteristics. Yeah, certainly how it all comes together. And sometimes if you have the components, we've just mentioned a few of them, it's somehow, it seems like the sum exceeds the whole of the parts. You know what I'm saying? You can actually get uh, two plus two equals five if you get the right leader in the right culture, mm -hmm. in the right environment. Mm -hmm. Dan, what what about, you know, things like, uh, do you put an introverted person in a, in a highly uh, extroverted sales organization? Can that kind of thing work? Or, or do you have to be more uh, uh, sensitive to matching style and tonality and the way they do things. Well, the nice thing about human beings yeah. is we can change, we can adapt, we can grow. Um, so I don't know if there's any pat answer for should they all be introverts or extroverts. I don't think, I think it's beyond that. Okay. It, these characteristics that Boyd alluded to, and I would add a few more, yeah. is if someone is more introverted, but they're working with an extroverted group, yeah. if they have the ability to learn and adapt and grow, they can act and pretend and be more extroverted during the day and then go home at night and, and go back into the Oh, well, wait a minute. He was talking about authenticity and transparency and being yeah. the same person at work as they are at the office. Do you believe that somebody should be different than the, at the office than they are at home? Did or I say different it, or did I say that they can adapt and flex accordingly? I, we just hit the sweet spot right here <laughs> in this fascinating interview with experts on leadership development and training. Now, as we think about this and we go forward towards the end of this interview, because this is, this is where it's at, right? Right here. Leadership, there's all kinds of people that manage. Not that many of them are inspirational. They don't seem to be able to lead a company and get people to follow them. Right. What, what is the one quality that somebody has to have? The ability to speak extemporaneously, the ability to have a really interesting value system that can convey. What, what is it? The one little thing that will allow them to lead a company and go in a new direction. I think, you know, it goes 
There, there's so many things, Lynn. There's not one thing. I'd like to say there's one thing, but if you are somebody that we have a value, we mm -hmm. call it green and growing. Ah. Uh, you're always looking to grow because if you're not growing, you're ripe and rotting. And at that point, who wants to be ripe and rotting? Your company doesn't and you don't. So you really need to look at, are you constantly getting better at what you're doing? And I know people think, can I really change? Yeah. Ask yourself, that are is, you the same person today as you were five years of ago? Of course not. Absolutely not. So you can grow. So the matter is, are you growing with a purpose? Mm. And are you being authentic with yourself? Are you being true with yourself? All these characteristics have to go together. The thing that is very critical for me though, and I'm blessed to work with Dan, some of my key strengths yeah. are not his. So you got somebody who kind of balances and Absolutely. compliments you. His yes. key strengths, I wish I was as good at his area as he is, but I know I'm not, so I'd rather work with somebody as that talented in those areas so we balance each other quite well. Dan, do you feel like you're a balancing element to this guy over here? Actually, I'm blushing. <laughs> All right. You know, you know but what he said, though, and there's a piece there, it's, it's we want to work with people that are learners versus knowers uh. because a learner's more adaptive and green and growing. But the other piece I would offer in there is it's really about credibility. I mean, it is hard to lead anybody in life if you're not a credible individual yourself because if you're credible here I can be credible externally so I would just offer that up as an additional piece. Well Boyd Ober and Dan Cedar with Leadership Resources in Lincoln I think we've heard a vast array of attributes and qualities for leadership you now have an opportunity to kind of check box take a look inside your organization make sure you've got people that have at least some of these qualities this is your future don't forget it I'm on uh, Wild Biz TV and I'm Lynn Hinderocker thanks for watching. <laughs>